welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do just a quick little March book haul. I'm a little late being that it's already the 11th of April, but that's okay. I only have eight books to show you because a lot of the books that I received to review um, happen to be ebooks last month. Um, one of them, I only have one that is a physical copy. So, and I didn't do a lot of book shopping last month in all the craziness that had gone on. So I only have eight books to show you in this book haul. So it should go pretty quick. I'm not even going to go like into big detail what they're about. Some of them I know, some of them I'm not sure, but okay. So the first one, two, three, four, five, five of them I bought while I was in New York during my daughter's senior trip that um, we all went on. So I've already shown these ones, but that's okay, we're gonna do a quick glance of what they are. The first one is The Vanishing Season, and I did just finish this uh, last week, I believe. I just read this book, and it was really good. Um, it's about a girl named Ellery, oh, and I figured out by the end of the book that it's a part of a series. So, it's by Joanna Schaffhausen. Schaffhausen, I'm not really sure. But anyways, it's about a girl named Ellery Hathaway. She is a police officer, but what everyone doesn't know about her is that her name is actually Abigail Ellery Hathaway. Uh, and she was, at 14 years old, she was abducted and um, abused pretty much for four days until she was found. And she was the only survivor from this guy that was abducting people. So um, now the, there's a lot of things going on in the town that she is a police officer in and she recognizes the um, connection between what's going on in her town and what happened when she was 14 years old. So anyways, it was really good. I enjoyed this one a lot. So yeah, The Vanishing Season. Another one that I bought while I was in New York, and I've also already read this one, 180 Seconds by Jessica Park. It was really good. I got like, you know some books that give you like the, you can't stop smiling, like you're outwardly smiling and you just feel it all in your heart and in your stomach. And like, that's how this book made me feel. It was so, so good. I loved it. I mean, there were some parts that of course, you know, I wasn't crazy about necessarily, but for the most part, I really love this book. Um, and I think I gave it like four stars. It was great. So let's see. The next book that I got while I was in New York is Backwater by Joanne Bauer. It's a pretty short book. I read this one. I started it um, on the plane on the way home and finished it like the next day. So it was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, it's about a girl named Ivy, and she realizes she's not completely like her family too much. She has an aunt who's like very mysterious, kind of a hermit, and she finds that aunt, spends some time with her, and she just kind of wants to um, figure out the missing part of her life because she feels like she's a lot like that aunt. But anyways, it was a really good book. I enjoyed it quite a lot. The next one I got while I was in New York, I have not read yet. It's The Story Collector by Kristen O'Donnell Tubb. It's a New York Public Library book. It's a middle grade, and it says inspired by the true story of a girl who lived in the library. So, haven't picked it up yet, but I am excited to read this one. And then the last one that I got while I was in New York is Anne of Green Gables. I bought this one at, um, Barnes and Noble. Yeah. I bought this at Barnes and Noble because I do collect um, Anne of Green Gables books. I have a stack of them up here. And I wanted to add to my collection because I didn't have this one. And also, it says Barnes and Noble New York, which I think is so cool. And it has a lot of like lovely pictures and things. And then the gold foil edges. It's just beautiful. I love this book. So. Those are the books I got in New York, and now the only book that I received in the month of March that is 
um, a review copy is Ollie's Backpack. It's actually a children's book. Um, this is an advanced review copy. So uh, I read it. It's a, it's a cute little children's book. If I was still teaching right now, I would have already picked it up and read it for my class. But I'm not right now, so school's out for a little bit. We don't know how much longer, but anyways. So this that's what this one is. It's Ollie's Backpack by Raya Arini. Arini. I'm not sure. It says, what does carefree Ollie do when, he, when his backpack becomes full of worries? He learns what is too heavy to carry around. He decides what belongs in his backpack and what should stay out. So, um, and then the next two books I picked up just because I wanted them. I ordered them from Amazon. And the first one is The Vanderbeekers of 141st Street by Karina Yan or Jan Glaser. I'm really bad at pronouncing the names, but this is also a middle grade. It was recommended by, I can't remember her name on Life Between Words. Anyways. YouTube channel. If I remember to do it, I will link her down below. But um, this is, it's five days before Christmas. The Vanderbeeker children should be dreaming about sugar plums and presents. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, this is, it sounded really cute. I wanted it. It was like $5 and something on Amazon. So I picked it up. And then the last book of my March book haul, The Blue Castle by L.M. Montgomery. Also recommended by life between words. Why can't I remember her name? I need to figure it out. Okay. Um, it is Katie from life between words. She recommended this one also, and it's the blue castle. It is a beautiful copy and I actually just started reading it. I'm only like one chapter in, I think. Yeah, I'm only on chapter one. So, um, I just barely started it last night right before I went to sleep. So I am excited to finish this this month. But anyway, so yeah, that is everything that I got in the month of March. And uh, let's see, how many have I read of them so far? One, two, three, four, five. I've read five and I'm on number six. So out of eight, that's not bad at all. So anyways, all right. Well, um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.